The ruling party, the government, and the presidential office have vowed to make improving people's livelihoods their top priority. They also plan to push ahead with economy-related legislation like labor reform and deregulation when the regular parliamentary session begins in September. Park ji tells us more. Korea's ruling Senuri Party held its first policy coordination meeting with the government and the presidential office since its new leader Lee jang hyun took the reins earlier this month. Representatives from the three sides vowed to make improving the people's livelihoods their top priority and called for the opposition party's cooperation in that endeavor. The Senuri Party's new leader also emphasized the importance of close coordination on state affairs. Prime Minister Hwang Gyo-an called on all political parties to approve a pending multi-billion dollar supplementary budget bill and several other economy-related bills, including one on labor reform, which is in limbo at the National Assembly. President Park's chief of staff also urged a swift passage of the budget supplement and a bill on regulation-free zones, among others. After the meeting, the ruling party's chief policymaker said the party, the government and the presidential office will put particular emphasis on major economy-related legislation like labor reform and deregulation when the regular parliamentary session begins in September. During the regular session, the three sides will work in close cooperation to pass key bills in order to stimulate the economy, create jobs and ease regulations. Representatives from all three bodies reiterated that there should be no partisan disputes over livelihood issues and said they will keep working together to execute the current administration's policy goals. Park ji Arirang News. A week-long impasse has been broken. The country's three main political parties have just agreed to vote on the proposed $9.8 billion budget supplement next Tuesday. The agreement came after the opposition parties, which had hoped to first hold negotiations on the witness list for upcoming hearings on a related issue next month, decided the passage of the supplement was too urgent to hold up. Three parties agreed to continue their discussions on the witness list after the vote next week.